My name is Matthias Wikström. I'm the CEO and one of the co-founders of Duconomy. Super happy to be here and to share a little bit of our journey and what we're hoping to achieve. And uh, also, the reason for the MasterCard stage is that we have worked for six years together with MasterCard to get to where we're at today. And uh, I'm very happy to see uh, the tremendous support out of a uh, network of trust, as I, as I refer to it as. So, let me see if this works. Boom. Most people know today that we are we're facing a climate crisis, a challenge that has created a lot of anxiety in the world. A lot of people don't really know what to do about it. And if they think they know what to do about it, they don't know how much they should do about it. We aim to change that. I think it's fair to say that this is a crisis that maybe five years ago people were going like, nah, maybe it's just the weather, maybe it's just this and that. We work always with science and academia. Science in support of the data we use, putting it at the fingertips of the consumers. And academia, in order to enable research and additional insights out of the academic community working with Stockholm School of Economics as well as the University of Oxford. So I think how the world is doing, I think we can do better, right? I have two children. My son is turning 12 on Saturday. The climate is in our conversation on a weekly basis. It's not every day. He's not waking up saying like, oh, what's the climate crisis like? But it's, it's eating of him. And those conversations are extremely important to have in how we educate our kids around where we're going. So, we have a limited window. It's for us to do something about. I don't think that anyone else is going to solve this. I think we are going to have to solve this. Companies today, institutions, organizations, NGOs, governments, they're all people. You can't just say that someone over there is going to work this out. That's not going to happen. I'm sorry, it's not going to happen. You vote for your politicians every four years. You vote for the brands you consume with every day at every point of purchase. That's why MasterCard is such a tremendous partner to us in getting this distributed. It needs to be voluntary. It needs to be with integrity. And it needs to be easy. So, coming from Sweden, of course, I'm not Greta Thunberg, but she has shined a light on something. And to me, what she's shining the light on is the lack of action. Not moaning about what, you know, what we should do, or, or thinking, or hoping, or wishing for change. It comes down to creating change. This is recent uh, statistics from the University of Bath. So, 83% agree that we have failed to care for the planet. 83%, pretty high levels, almost like the levels of plastics in our seas in a few years that will outshine the number of fish in the sea. Looking at the biodiversity dilemma, also a problem facing us much more short term. We have 75% claiming that they are fr frightened of the future, what's going to come, and even 40% saying we're hesitant to having children. Now, I, can, I, I think it's fair to say that if this is not bad numbers, what would be, you know? We all have a carbon footprint. Problem is, we don't know how much. And how can we change something when we don't know what it is? The role we aim to play is quite simple. We've gathered out of Stockholm and also in Madrid and in Munich some of my teammates here, um, working across the globe. Today, with five minutes ago, our 20th bank signed with us in Sri Lanka. Commercial Bank of Ceylon went live. We're 60 people. We built this company during the pandemic, as many others have. Tremendous suffering, tremendous efforts. We've gone from five to 60 in a little less than two years. Building a culture like that is hard, but when everyone is committed to the same purpose in educating the many around their impact, it becomes easier. And obviously also, with such brilliant talent as we have on board, 
hey, what can go wrong? Maybe the maybe top management should be changed. This is a model that we are working around when we're looking at what to do out of an innovation perspective. Looking at the brand, the brand positioning, is it relevant, the positioning, is it relevant, the values, is it true? If it's not true, don't do it. We're looking at collaboration. We can't do everything. We have to stand on shoulders of giants to see far and reach the many. MasterCard, brilliant example, and you have many more there in the bottom of the presentation. Also manifesting, working with science, working with academia, working with tech, working with sustainability. It's at the core of what we do. Society then, what is our role? What is expected from us? Are we just grab the money and run kind of company? Or are we staying and stepping up to the responsibility, enabling the many to also contribute to positive change? I'm not driving a Rolls Royce, so I guess I'm for the latter. We got the organization, because when we're working with what we're doing, we need also to look at who we got with us, who has our back, so that this resonates within the organization, that people understand what we're trying to do and want to contribute to doing it. And then we try to connect it to a phenomena. Working with MasterCard, their data, out of insights from consumers around the world, what, what is driving them? What are they interested in? How can we help them? With MasterCard, we also developed a carbon calculator and available to any bank in the world. Any bank in the world. Payment tech company, banks in the world can get together and educate everyone around the carbon footprint. I know it's noisy in here, but that's a big wow to me. I didn't expect that three years ago. So, the value creation around this is also an enabler to change behavior, to drive sustainable behavior. We would like to engage and to connect. We're not saying you shouldn't do this, you shouldn't do that. That's completely up to you. You decide what you want to do. We just want to enable you to be aware of what the effects of what you're doing are, the consequences, the very fundamental idea that every action has a reaction. What we are doing as an action also have a reaction. We have people coming to us saying, you're idiots. The climate crisis is a hoax. Where is the data coming from? Why are you telling me this? Why isn't he over there changing? We got to start somewhere. There is a quote from a Middle Eastern philosopher, I forgot his name. He said, when I was young, I tried to change the world. As I grow older, I try to change myself. I think that's a brilliant starting point. So, 60% of your carbon footprint is linked to your lifestyle choices manifested through consumption. We're all going to consume. We're all going to continue living. We need to understand what we're doing. Instead of just, you know, burning fossil fuels to the moon and back. Isn't it funny that the richest people in the world is trying to get off the planet? I think that's quite amusing. It's just a side note, but it's very strange. So we did this. We calculated the carbon emissions impact on transaction level connected to merchant category. So it's an average. It's your consumption power representation in that category shaping the carbon footprint. We don't know what's in your basket. We know the merchant ID. We know the amount spent and that's representation in that category. Next level, of course, would be to connect it to individual companies so that con competitive edge kicks in. What happens when competitive edge kicks in? Competition. What happens when competition kicks in? There's a winner and there's a loser. If you want to avoid being the loser, trust the power of the consumer. Consumers will come to the rescue and shape sustainable markets. The amount spent on consumption yearly is 24 times the force of all the investments going into military spendings in the world. And if we said, like, okay, we're going to engage all of the military people to save the planet of all the nations in all the world, no matter if they're enemies or not, everyone would go like, uh-huh, that's quite a forceful thing. This is 24, that number. This will influence all of the decisions. This will influence all of the transactions. Because it's not because we are adding something, we're getting something in place that has been missing. The true cost of consumption is not only the damage done to your wallet, it's also the resources extracted from the planet in doing so. How can we recycle? How can we upcycle? How can we reuse? 
maybe tomorrow, out of a MasterCard perspective, the same bike will come with four transactions instead of one. Because we are reselling stuff, and we're making stuff that lasts. So, we're proud to see today that All an Index, the methodology that we developed six years ago for a bank situated in the middle of the Baltic Sea, looking out the window, the CEO said, Matthias, we want to engage our users in understanding that everything has an impact instead of just donating money to funds and you know, ideas around sustainability. We want to help people to understand this. When I grew up, looking out the window now, it's not the same sea. Now, the Baltic Sea, eutrophication, lots of poison going into it. It's an inner sea, so the rotation is low. But it's situated in one of the most rich, financially rich parts of the world. And it's still fucked. How can that be? We should be able to sort this out. We have the money, no one's starving, no one's hiding, no one's running from bullets, carrying screaming children, crying. We don't have that problem. We have another problem and we don't care because we're ignorant or because we're not educated enough. So, the solution then. We want to deliver a global standard, both on transaction level and on product level. On transaction level, we're already today, through our collaboration with MasterCard, reaching globally. Amazing effort by many. And together with the banks we work with directly, they represent 360 million users. We consider 95 of them, 95 million, maybe 1,108, depending on what they active users. And maybe you guys saw Sebastian from Klarna. He was on stage yesterday talking about, basically talking about one thing and one thing only. And it wasn't Klarna, it was about sustainability. We're powering Klarna's solution in 18 markets around the world today. Very proud to see that happening. And I think a lot of people were surprised with where that came from. So, as a market leader, we have to step up to responsibility and having people understanding the difference pre-purchase as well, getting products calculated. The challenge today is that products are hard to calculate. Not, there isn't sufficient amount of data. The big companies are getting there, the small companies are losing their competitive edge. We need to support the small companies, the SMEs, in getting them to calculate their footprint on product level, cradle to gate, self-declared, online, reducing cost, reducing complexity, and reducing the time it takes. So, According to more recent MasterCard uh, research, 85% of the adults state that they're willing to take climate action now. We've got COP26 coming up. What's going to happen at COP26? No idea. I'm going to go there to see, actually, <laughs> to find out. It might be considered a failure, because what is success? It's almost a topic that is impossible to succeed. And the fear mongers will go like, oh, the COP26 was a failure. Maybe it will be, but on what scale? We're going to COP26 and say, we've got half a billion people wanting to know what their impact is. Now, come on, banks, it's time to step up. We made it easy for you. We've got MasterCard providing you with the solution. We're providing you with the solution. We can help you in many, many different ways. There is no excuse anymore. Either. You're a change maker or you're a change taker. You decide. So, is there differences then? Yes. There's quite massive differences if we're looking at the numbers. Does my choices have an impact? Yes, they do. But our ambition is not to have, you know, a few people doing all of the work. We're not looking to have a few people doing a lot. We're looking at many people doing something because the aggregated amount of that will be tremendous. There's a BCG study came out a year ago saying that the value chain sustainability rationale is diluted by a 4% profit margin. If we can reduce the 4% profit margin, we're going to be in a good place. And I think now I have five minutes left, so I'm going to get a sign saying five, and then at one minute, I'm going to get one that is this, and when I run over three minutes, they're going to go like this. So, what we're looking at is providing impact applied as a service. Basically, taking existing data, we're not coming up with this, we're not stealing it from individuals, we're working with Standard & Poor's TrueCost, 
getting the same financial market, leading financial market data that is used for multi-billion dollar transactions and putting it at the fingertips of every consumer. Why shouldn't they know equally as much? We're doing this in four sections. I'm going to talk about two, product and transaction. What we have is a model around how to do this. Because on every category, we would like to be able to measure it, we would like to be able to educate around it, and also to provide people with opportunity to take action. We're not leaving you feeling guilty. We're saying, this is the way it is. You decide what you want to do. Oh, here's a few options. We're working with the United Nations. We're working with the World Wildlife Fund. In the middle, we have a market with MasterCard and a brilliant distribution. Can we provide change? Yes, of course we can. So, a brief, uh, this is advertising for the economy. So, we've been around for three years. We're funded out of Stockholm by me and Johan Peel. We worked together for 27 years. Um, we think that it is possible to connect transparency to responsibility and responsibility to accountability. We want to provide the many with tools to take climate action. We think there is a lot of ambition out there. We think that people are good wanting to contribute to a better tomorrow, wanting to be able to look their children in the eye and say, you know, we're on this, we're getting things done, we're not just sitting around waiting for the next generation to deal with the crap that we've created. But it's challenging, and we've been alone. Three years ago, climate fintech didn't exist. Today, it does. I don't care what you call it. What I care about is to have the efficiencies of the existing systems like financial technology, to cater to the fragilities of the ecosystem of our planet. If we can make it profitable to save the planet, it's going to be saved in no time. In the US, they think Bernie Saunders said that, but actually it was Hugo Chavez who said it a few years earlier. So it wasn't me. The carbon calculator by MasterCard is a joint development of providing any bank with this opportunity to educate their clients around their impact to educate them around what to do, maybe to invest in ESG funds, maybe to offset by donations to gold standard projects. That is up to the local market to decide. And we're very happy to see the support of MasterCard in this very important mission in educating people, because we think that these calculations will shape all kind of brand preference going forward. This is the language of commerce tomorrow, whether online or offline. So we did this in Sweden because we wanted to walk our talk. We did our own service and we learned from it. We put a card to the market with the mobile application to the market and we realized it's not only young people, it's not only women, it's all ages. It's a 49-51 gender split. It's a topic relevant to everyone. So not only are we calculating uh, the CO2 emissions, but also water, water component is live since May, because fresh water is a much more critical issue in parts of the world. The 2030 calculator available online, I've got a short film that I'm not going to show, because we don't have time, but it's online as well, look it up. Anyone, any brand that wants to calculate their products, you can do it with the 2030 calculator. It's even free the first calculations and, you know, the, the open platform is free to anyone to use. There is an altruistic ambition to this. Brands are already doing it today. We are in conversations with the large brands on the northwestern side of the U.S. We're looking at watches, Emeco, furniture. It's all over. Coming out of Bonn in the, the fair, the design fair uh, just a few, a week ago, and the furniture industry is dying to do this out of a circularity perspective and also a pre-production uh, perspective. So, <clears throat> we have a few cases that are doing it today, Klarna, BNP Paribas, Standard Chartered, and as of yesterday, we launched banks together with Proximus and Belfius in Brussels, the largest telco, the largest bank, teaming up to get this done. So, with that said, our ambition is to reach 1 billion users, reduce 1 billion ton every year. And I think that that's pretty much it.
for me. So thank you very much, guys, and thank you for listening in.